Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be doing some testing on what is faster, a skip tooth chain or a full chisel chain. So we've got a couple chains. We're going to be testing it on a 572 Husqvarna. We're going to be using the same exact saw during the test. Um, that way there's no variation. And we've got a brand new steel chain, full chisel, 84 drive links, 3 8 chain. And then we have a Husqvarna X-Cut. Full, full skip, same specs on it, 3 8 And we're gonna be testing in this piece of wood here. We'll do one test on some smaller wood and then we'll get a piece of wood that we can really bury the bar in and check that one out as well. This one, I would say this is probably a 14 inch piece, Quinn, what didn't you say? 14, 18, and we're gonna check it out and we'll do times and see how fast it cuts. Quinn, do you have any predictions? What's gonna cut faster? Skip tooth. Skip tooth's gonna cut faster on both sets of wood. Keep your RPMs up. Okay. So my opinion on this is I think on the smaller wood, I think they're gonna be very, very similar. And I think on the larger log, the skip tooth might be faster. Um, the wood we cut, I'm not sure there's any benefit to regularly running skip tooth chain. I know loggers, they usually like big loggers, we should say. They usually like to run the biggest bar they can with the smallest saw, that way it's nice and light. So they would more commonly run a skip chain than we would out here. So we'll try it out and um, we'll see the results. So Quentin, why don't you get this thing fired up, get her warmed up and uh, we'll get to cutting. <laughs> was 835 so I'm gonna say it in the video and I'll cut it out after but 835 on the first one so let me how do I lap this Quinn you said lap lap yeah and then I close it but normally your time keeps going no I don't know all right 835 for the first one <laughs> So pretty consistently, eight seconds. Uh, it looked really fast. I think that's gonna be a tough one to beat. But brand new chain, throwing good, uh, good dust out there. So we'll get that chain changed over and uh, we'll get back to you. All right guys, so we got the full skip chain on here now. It's looking real fresh. Quinn's ready to run it. So very consistently, about the same. Um, maybe the skip tooth was just a slower. touch slower, not not even noticeable though. So if you're not burying the bar, it probably doesn't make a difference. Let's get some big wood in here and see what happens when we bury this 25 inch bar. guys we got a much bigger piece here this is gonna be all your bar can handle I think it's a big sucker 
So fire it up, let's see what she does. This will be the skip tooth chain. We just left it on from the last test and we'll switch back over. So that was 36 seconds and he buried the bar. He didn't get all the way through it, but we'll do the same exact test with the next one. So 36 seconds. Did you feel like the saw had more power or anything? Less grabby or anything? No? I might have not checked out. It's easy. Better chain speed? Yeah. All right, we'll get this chain swapped over and try it again. Back to the full chisel chain. So this is it on that big log. Okay, how did it feel? I mean, it bogged out a little bit more, but I honestly felt like I was faster. Faster? Well, you were faster by one second. The other one was 35.1 or something, and this is 34.2. So it was a little bit faster, so um, I guess that's a good test and kind of answers our questions of how we use these saws and is the chisel any faster? So guys, to sum this one up, I would say if you are cutting smaller wood, um, anything under 20 inches with the 25 inch bar 70 cc saw, I would say um, I don't think the skip tooth is any faster. Uh, maybe if you ran a ginormous bar on your 70 cc or smaller cc saw and your full chisel chain was kind of slowing it down, then maybe the skip would be faster. But in this scenario, I don't think it is. So that kind of sums that up. Thanks for watching guys. Hope you found this informational and we'll see you on the next one.